I think I'm more lax lives. I think it's time to play a little... Oh, I forgot about my broken leg. Seven days to die. Oh, man. Well, uh, I need to get out and get some more books, clearly. Uh, I thought I was all ready to go on my, my garden. I got quite a bit done. And I don't have the seeds unlocked yet, so... That's a bit of a problem. Do I have any points to spend? I know I spent a bunch before. Oh, I do have two points to spend. Uh, I need to spend points on... Um, whatever gardening is. Oh, I already have. Fortitude 5. That's not too bad. I should, uh, I should bump this up then. We'll bump that up to 5, and then that way the next time I can get my crops, uh, unlocked up fully there. All right, uh, let's see. Um, maybe down in this corner. It's like I haven't been down there yet. Let me go check that out. Uh, well, we didn't make it to uh, doing any gaming, necessarily, this weekend, but we did uh, get a little bit farther in um, V Rising that we've been playing. Uh, pretty fun game, I have to say. I, I'm rather enjoying it. Um, I, like the, uh, I like the bosses um, are pretty interesting, and... Um, they're fairly varied in how they operate so far. I mean, I haven't really had too many that were identical in any way, so that's always cool. Um, then the um, crafting tiers um, is okay. I don't like how how... Hmm. I don't mind some of it being locked behind bosses, but you get some weird quests that require things that you can't even think about, and I don't like that. Um, for example, uh, okay, so I guess the big one is um, there are mechanics locked behind quests and some of the quests involve upgrading your castle heart. And so you'll get a quest that'll be like, um, you know, build four walls or whatever. And then um, you do that and then it unlocks something. Cool. Um, but then you get the, the quest that's like, unlock your castle heart. Uh, okay, this is this is what happened. All right. So I, I don't remember what quest it was to unlock it, but one of the things they've got in the game that we don't really probably need to, um, but we don't haven't really made a lot of use of so far, is um, servants. I was going to call them minions, but they're servants. And so you get to the point where you're making all the stuff and um, you got to make coffins. And I think the coffins are made with... Um, greater blood essence right and so we don't have the recipe to make greater blood essence but it drops common enough that uh, oh no no was it unsullied hearts <clears throat> i think it was greater blood essence we had the recipe to make greater blood essence using unsullied hearts that doesn't sound right i don't remember exactly um, but we needed the, uh, we needed the greater blood essence to, um, to make these. <laughs> okay. I really don't remember. It's either greater blood essence or unsullied hearts. Maybe we did have the recipe and it takes like five unsullied hearts, but now we have the ability to make 
greater blood essences just from blood. I think that's what it is. is we got an upgraded recipe that um, that makes it easier. And uh, I think that's what happened. So, Unsullied Hearts rarely drop off of um, random bad guys that you kill. Um, but more commonly drop off of um, bosses. And so you get you get the Unsullied Hearts, you kill a boss, you get an Unsullied Heart. Sometimes you get two. Um, sometimes you don't get any. And, um, and so... We were around killing a bunch of the bosses we'd already killed because they respawn, and um, oh, and uh, and so we got enough to to build. Yeah, dude, you already know that she's not a good thing to hack. Okay, I don't know why you did that hack. I wasn't even pushing the button. He's like, I'm just stabbing the air. Um, so anyways, so we get the Unsullied Hearts, and, uh, and, oop, I got a book. Medical Journal. I've gotten a lot of those. 27 out of 75. It's insane how many of those I've got compared to things I actually need. I'm still using stone tools because I can't, uh, I haven't unlocked iron. And I've got 27 medical. I just, I don't make that much medical equipment, I guess. You find it often enough that maybe, maybe I'll want it when I start making uh, med packs or whatever. But until I get to that point, uh, do you have pests? Check out these crazy traps. That's cool. 12 of 75. Tired of being bullied? I didn't, I don't even do the knuckles. 7 to 75. I have unlocked knuckle wraps, quality 4. Look, another medical journal. 28 of 75 already. It's just crazy to me. I feel like there's no way there's not a dog out back there, right? So, um, you do that, and you make your, your servant coffins, and then you can bring your servants back, uh, and then put them in the coffin, and then they become, I guess, undead, or whatever they do. I don't know. And so... You think I'd know? I've been playing the game, but uh, I assume they must be undead if I have coffins for them. I'm just not sure why we have to make them undead. Um, and then, and then the next quest, the next quest is to um, build your throne, uh, and your throne. Let me see if I remember this correctly. Your next quest wants you to build the throne, and the throne takes. Oh, I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna remember. I want to say the throne takes iron, but iron is like way beyond your technology level at that point. Like way beyond it. Uh, like the the game is split into different um different areas and uh and so iron actually comes from the next area over uh when you first get that tools hey look at that i made it to eight may i remind you 28 28 uh medical eight tools Eight. It's killing me. So, um... So, yeah, so I don't... I don't really like that part, necessarily, of locking the... 
locking the um, crafting, well, not crafting, but like abilities behind it um, that hard. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's weird to, because, because you upgrade your castle heart, you, you build a castle heart that lets you build a castle and then you have to up, oh, ho, ho, ho. Great. I got a boo-boo on my knee. Also, I need to repair my... Chest gear. Um, so I don't like that part, but the rest of it's pretty good. Um, although sometimes they have the... Um, the bosses in a weird order too, because the bosses are like different levels. Uh, levels are based off of your gear. Uh, and so you have to get the better gear to unlock the better, um, to be able to fight the bigger bosses, right? And, um, uh, you know, and you need to fight the bigger bosses to get access to the better gear. So, you know, like you kill a guy, you kill a guy, you get access to, uh, this is, this is another part I don't like. Um, you kill a guy and he unlocks, um, an entire new set of armor, right? But to be able to use that armor, no, to be able to make that armor is what I mean. To be able to make that armor, I have to kill a boss that's like three sections higher than the guy I just killed to unlock the armor. Uh, and I think that's weird. Um, you killed the boss of the... You killed a boss in the previous section. And that boss... Uh, I, I think they're in... Are they in tiers? So, like, tier one boss unlocks um, this armor that's made from, uh, like, cotton thread and wool thread. And, um, you can't make any of that. Uh, you can't make any of that when you get the recipes for it at all. And the guys who drop it are in the tier two section. And so I think that's weird that, like, you'd think that they would give you the ability to craft the stuff before before they got to the point, um, I heard growling. I didn't realize it was my stomach. Uh, before they got to the point where they expect you to, well, they don't expect you, but before you get to the point where you can make it, you know? So like if I kill a boss, he should have given me access to making cotton thread. Um, he shouldn't have given me the end results of being able to use cotton thread, you know? So I, I find that a little weird. Um, or like currently, um, you, you make the heart, and you put it down, and then you can build around the castle heart, and then there's a limit on how much castle you can put around a castle heart. So to add more to it, then you have to upgrade your castle heart uh, using, you know, whatever items. Uh, I think the first, the first upgrade is, like, unsullied hearts, or maybe it's the other things, the greater blood essences and something else. Um, but then the second level is, like, way beyond technology wise what the upgrade to the first level was like the upgrade to the first level is something you can do with the first boss basically to upgrade the second one though uh you know to upgrade to tier two um i want to say we just managed to do it um, because of the stuff that goes into it, like iron ingots and stuff like that. And we just got to the point where we can make iron ingots and we're like a third of the way into tier two. Um, so you can't build a very big castle when it starts. Uh, in fact, we still don't have all the flooring for the castle, which I also think is weird. Uh, one of the things in the game, um, that I like is, um, I mean, you got to build and then to get... Uh, benefits to your uh, workbenches and stuff, you have to you have to um, 
I haven't picked up any food yet. Just suck down some water and stop your whining. Um, so to um, um, you build your workbenches or your you know various processing machines, and there's a lot of machines in this game so far. Uh, our workbenches, um, there's like the sawmill, there's the grinder, there's the um, oh, I can't remember what they're all called. The, there's the blood press, there's the paper press, there's the um, the spinning machine, there's the the tailoring bench, the woodcrafting bench, the leatherworking bench, the tannery, the there's just there's a lot of stuff. Uh, and so they go in specific groups. And so like the tannery, the spinning wheel, the tailoring bench, those are all, what is this place called JW over here? What is this? I want to know what this is. Um, what is this place? So, um, like I said, the, the tailoring, the tailoring bench, the, the tannery, the leather bench, leather working bench, the, um, uh, spinning wheel, all of that goes in the tailoring room. Uh, and so what that means is you put all those machines into the same room and then you put for flooring... A specific flooring and then they get bonuses to how fast they craft and a reduction in the amount of materials necessary to make whatever it is you're trying to make and so that's cool what's less cool though is i have all that tailoring stuff and we've yet to actually find tailor flooring so i don't i don't understand why that's a thing like if you're going to give me the machines to do tailoring, then why do I not have the flooring for tailoring? You know? Um, and then... Um, dude, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm here looking in the kitchen. I still haven't found any food. You're like, today is everything but food. Oh, there's a potato. I found one raw potato, buddy. Oh, there you go. Eat some charred meat. I'm sure that's got to be, you know, tasty. Charred meat that's in a stove that you don't know when it was placed there. That would be charred into jerky meat. It would be eating old who knows what dead rat that dehydrated in the stove. I don't, I don't know, man. Oh, I thought you were dead. Well, now your head came off, so now you're definitely dead. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty good, though. I, I, I like it better than Valheim quite a bit um although although oh that's a new chemistry station uh can't wait to see that in a less broken setup i haven't seen one of those yet mushroom these are cool Um, I know, let me tell you, working, working with the, the guys, uh, I tell you, it's, it's the same as Valheim, man. It, it's driving, driving me crazy. I, <laughs> we got, um, we got the two of us going out and doing stuff. And then we got the other guy who, uh, stays at home. Oh, I thought I ate that. 
who stays at home. Um, and then we'll be trying to do something. I'll be like, oh, do you guys need help? While we're in the middle of trying to fight a boss. Um, or collect some raw resources. And then um, he's like, alright, I'll come help while we're fighting and fighting and fighting. And then um, just as we're about to beat the boss, he shows up. Fully health, never been touched, takes a couple of shots at the boss. And then when the boss dies, and we gotta hurry up and heal ourselves because we're about to die from bleeding or um uh this is what i wanted to do i wanted to repair uh and then like uh, uh this is another thing that um uh, uh him looting the boss doesn't mean anything because he's just looting like books it's not it's not like we're getting weapons or anything really useful off of them but it's still the principle of the matter, right? You you spend five minutes fighting a boss, and then he comes through in the last 15 seconds and then thinks it's okay that he rushes in to loot everything while you're trying not to die. Um, well, that's not a great will. Um, also, why did I not pick up my bike? I need to get this stuff back to base. Uh, and then, and then, um, one of the other things in the game, uh, is, uh, you're limited, uh, at least on the server we've got going, uh, you're limited to two castle hearts. And so, um, I put down the first castle heart and then built the castle and, um, we call that home base. And then, um, the, uh, one of the other guys, he puts down a castle heart because you can't build uh, away from castle hearts. And so he puts down a castle heart because we want to put down a teleporter closer to where we're currently doing things um, so that we can teleport from our home base to that area. Um, so we call that the teleporter. <laughs> right? And then... Um, Is this a traitor? This isn't a traitor, is it? It must be. I guess I could have looked on my map. I just, um, I haven't been in this place, I don't think. If you are here to buy, I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. Hmm, cool. Oh, it's a clinic. Okay, uh, I picked up some money. And she is selling. Short on money for seeds? Learn how to get seeds from your leftover foods. How much do you want for that? 300. Wiring, explosive. Oh, look, I get some medical journals. Furious Fist. Uh, tech Junkie. I gotta be careful, because she might have something I actually need. It's not looking like it, though. Nope, I don't see anything in here. 
Uh, I'm tempted to buy these though. Thanks for the business. We're open from dawn to dusk, since, you know, we don't have clocks. Why? Nice. Why don't you have clocks? Especially in a city this big. There's n no way. There's no way you couldn't find wind-up clocks. Is this your house? Don't mind me, just looting her house. Ooh. She got books. Vehicle adventure. Look at that. 16. I have 16 books in vehicle adventure. I didn't look what I had for seeds. 16 books in vehicle adventure. 8 for tools. What the heck, game? Do you think that upgrading my tools might be more important than all the other crap you've been giving me? Anyway. Let's get back to base. Also, stop leaving your bicycle behind. What if you die? You don't want to have to walk back for it. I thought I had pinched myself in between those. I'm like, oh, I'm done now. Um, but yeah, uh, so so we've got home base. Uh, now we call that old base because I built a new base called home base. Uh, we've got teleporter, which the other guy put down, and so uh, old dim, you know, running at the last minute looting things. He builds. He builds a uh, castle heart so we can put down a teleporter closer to the iron mines. And what is that one called? My castle, he says. You guys want to teleport to my castle? You know, the best way to get to the iron mine is to use my castle. Uh, you want to get to that boss? It might be best if we teleport to my castle. <laughs> okay, dude, we get it. You put down a heart and a teleporter next to it. I'm glad you're calling it that my castle. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, and then in Shrouded, uh, I spent another... I spent another uh, good chunk on Enshrouded this weekend. Um, some of it's good, some of it's not good. Uh, there's definitely a, um, ah, whoop. Hey, buddy, do you happen to know where I live? Because I don't see it on the map anymore. I mean, it's right there. I can see it. But what happened to my bed? Uh, but yeah, it's... um. I feel like there's too far to travel in that game sometimes. And it gets really annoying when you die. And then you've got to travel from a long distance back to where you died. To only die again almost as soon as you get there. Um, and there's like...
I haven't figured I get through it yet, but there's a, a couple of kill you almost instantly things that happen in the game. Yeah, no, it is right there. Why is it not on the map though? Oh, it is. It's just not lit up. Weird. How did I manage that? I don't know. Uh, and so, you know, you'll you'll clear like a tower, and then you've got your um, glider. And so you jump off your glider, and you'll you'll be like trying to get over to that, that building right there. See that building right there? Um, which is all fine and good. Um, but then along the way, you'll have to go into the shroud, which is the area that's... Um, You've got a limited amount of time to get through it before it kills you. It's like six minutes. It's not that short. It, you get a lot done in six minutes in the shroud. But then there are spots that look kind of like... I don't know if they're supposed to be lava? Um, and if you touch one of those, you're just dead. And then there's other spots where there's like pink spores. And those are deadly spores. And so you touch one of those and then you're just dead. And so it's a little, it's a little irritating, um, cause you'll be fighting and then something will hit you and knock you off into the stuff or like, I don't know, just, <laughs> it, 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 I was getting pretty irritated the other day, uh, because I just kept dying and I'd make it almost to the, to the waypoint in the area that would lock me to respawning there. And then, um, it's, uh, <laughs> Don't run into the issue in this game, uh, but in Shrouded has got a lot of cliffs involved in the gameplay, and so like, like I'm trying to get to there, but all of this is either cliffs or canyons, and so I've got to go way out around the cliffs, and all it's in Shrouded, and you can't get up on the cliffs without a lot of work, um, and you know, uh, it's not as bad as. Um, it's not as bad as when I was trying to climb the one tower and the game kept crashing. And then because there's not a save, it would forget what I had done. And so I'd have to go and try to get back to that tower and then I'd get to the tower and then I'd start up the tower and then the game would crash. I don't know why I was doing it. It did it like three or four times and then it hasn't done it since. So it really didn't like something about that tower um, until it re... Because it respawns, right? So everything's a little bit... Uh, all the loot's a little bit different. So maybe it was some piece of loot was causing it. I don't know. Uh, but uh, I'm glad I finally made it through and got that tower locked down so I can teleport to it. But uh, yeah, I I feel like Enshrouded needs more to it. It, um, it feels a bit empty. Uh, like, this is empty, but uh, you do run into zombies pretty regularly. Enshrouded's not like that. Enshrouded doesn't have random guys wandering around. Uh they're only in the specific locations, it feels like. Um, and so you can go from one point to another without ever seeing a bad guy. And I think that's that's too little uh, to do. But, uh, all right, well, with that, be brave the small things, leave them to the light, and I will talk to you later.